Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about how to create heat maps in Tableau. In data visualization, heat map is a very powerful tool to represent a matrix of values or KPIs with custom color scales. As you see on the dashboard, we have a heat map of 10 different movies. We also have their ratings based on the responses from six survey questions. We rank the ratings from 0 as the lowest score to 10 as the highest score. And then we put the ratings in color scales with green representing the high scores and red representing the low scores. What we also have here is that we calculate the average ratings by question and by movie so that our audience can easily tell which movie or question receives the high versus low scores on average. Now let's quickly take a look at the data set together. In this sample data, we need three fields in order to create this heat map. The question, the movie title, and the response or rating. Please note that instead of putting different movies in separate columns, I have organized the data in a way that all movies actually fall into one column. And for each movie, a row is actually representing the survey response for a specific question. Now let's go ahead and create a heat map together. I already have the sample data imported. Let's go to an empty sheet. Under dimensions, first drag question and put it under rows, and then drag movie and put it under columns. Under measures, we have our movie response or uh, rating variable. Put it under text. We also need to put the same variable under color. Under marks, the default selection is automatic. To do the heat map, we need to change it to square. Now we have the basic heat map table. What we need to do next is to tweak the colors so that we're, the colors are not all in green. Click color and click edit colors. Under the color palette drop down, there is a variety of options uh, you can pick. So for now, I'm going to select red, green, gold diverging. You can see that the color is now in a gradient scale from 0 to 10. We can further customize the color by checking the stepped color and then change the number of steps or the colors that you want it to vary. I'm going to use the default five steps for now. Once done, you can click OK. Now we have the heat map with customized colors based on the response ratings. What I wanted to mention is that under Show Me, if you click Show Me, there is um, a heat map shortcut. You can use um, this shortcut to create easy heat maps um, by avoiding some of the steps that I've just mentioned. All right. Um, there is an extra step uh, we need to do is to compute the average uh, across movies and questions. So there is under the analysis toolbar, if you click that, there is a total button. Uh, first, you need to click show grand totals, row grand totals. We also want it to show uh, column grand totals. Instead of showing the total number of ratings across movies and questions, we wanted to use the average. How do we do that? Under analysis, um, if you hover around totals, there is an option where you can use total um, by average, right? Click that. Now we have um, the average across movies and questions. To quickly check the number, uh, I'm going to use calculator. Uh, I'm going to only uh, check movie number one for now. So if you add up all the ratings, and then divided by six questions, we got 6.47, which is exactly the number shown um, on this dashboard. Very nice, right? Uh, Probably you wanted to adjust the um, grant, uh, the, the label field and not to show grand total because it's actually an average, right? 
Uh, to change the labels, you need to right click and select format. Uh, under the grand totals, um, you can basically change the grand total to something you can you wanted to use. For example, average by movie. And then here, I want to do it as well. I'm going to change it to average by um, question. Okay, and now let's adjust the row size and the columns size. Make it a little wider. All right. So I wanted to mention one more thing. If you wanted to um, your color to expand it to the app grand total column, uh, what you need to do is to click the color again and then choose edit colors there is a one option that where you can check to include all the totals do that and click ok now we have our heat map um, this is a very important tool to let your audience uh, or customer compare movies against one another and also directly see which movie uh, is over or underperforming versus others that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to let me know if you have any questions or comments. See you next time. Bye.